Today, millions of gamers and non-gamers alike use Discord to talk with their friends and chat. If you want to use it too, but your Windows PC won't let you, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll show you what to do if the Discord app on your PC won't open. Fix number 1, close and restart the Discord app. If you have been able to use the Discord app without any problems in the past, it may have run into a problem that is preventing it from loading properly right now. What you need to do is check to see if there is already a Discord process running on the system. To do this, open the Task Manager and look at the Processes tab to see if there are any Discord processes running. If you see that Discord is open, you can close it by highlighting it and clicking the End Task button at the bottom. You can follow the same steps to close a Discord that isn't responding or that won't do anything. Fix number 2, check the Discord server status. Discord services are run by a number of servers located all over the world. Most of the time, these servers work well. However, some of them may go down without warning because of technical problems, bugs, or planned maintenance. This can also cause some bots on the platform to not work right. If you want to see if the Discord server is down, go to https slash slash discordstatus.com slash if Discord servers are having trouble, all you have to do is wait until the problem is fixed. So, try using Discord to check at a later time. Fix number 3, refresh the Discord app cache. If Discord still won't open even though there are no problems with the server, you should clear the local cache of your Discord app. This is how. Force close Discord via the task manager. On your keyboard, press Windows key plus R and type in percent of data percent in the run dialog box. Press the enter key. In the new window that appears, find the Discord folder and delete it. Open Discord to check for the problem. If the same problem keeps happening when you open Discord, you can try a different temporary folder by following these steps. Force close Discord via the task manager. On your keyboard, press Windows key plus R and type in percent the color data percent in the run dialog box. Press the enter key. In the new window that appears, find the Discord folder and delete it. We launch Discord to check for the problem. Fix number 4, turn off proxy or VPN. If you are using a virtual private network or proxy server, try turning them off to see if that is the problem. Do this after you use the task manager to close Discord and before you open it again. If you're not using a VPN or proxy, you can just ignore this tip. Fix number 5, update the Windows system. Keeping your operating system up to date is an important habit that can help prevent bugs from happening. Here's how, go to Windows settings. Go to update and security. Select Windows Update. Fix number 6. Troubleshoot your internet connection. Is your internet connection slow? To see if this is true, run a speed test on your PC and see if your download and upload speeds are way too slow. Even though you don't need an internet connection to start up Discord, it will automatically connect to the servers once it's been started on your PC. If your internet speed is slower if it keeps dropping out, the app might not load all the way and your messages might not show up at all. If you think you need help with your internet connection, we suggest that you talk to your internet service provider about your options. Fix number 7, Access Discord using a web browser. If your Discord app still won't load on your Windows computer and you need it badly, you can use the web browser version for now. All you have to do is open a web browser and go to discord.com. Just like when you use the Windows Discord app, you still need to sign in, but almost all of the app's features should be there. Crisp's noise suppression is the only thing missing from the web version. If you only want to use the app for voice or video chat, you can also use the Discord mobile app. Fix number 8, reinstall Discord. The last thing you can try is to remove Discord from your computer, and then add it back. This fix can help if the problem is really caused by a deeper bug in the system. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends.